Hello, my name is Rick Bauer, and I am a digital strategist MVP with a proficient Sitecore practice. Welcome to Episode 5 of the Site Cordial Video Channel, designed to help marketers visualize the power of Sitecore experience marketing. This series is designed to be progressive training, building off best practices in order on the Sitecore Experience Platform version 8. If you have not seen the earlier episodes on taxonomy, goals, engagement value and campaigns, and content testing, I recommend you start from the beginning. This episode is focused on setting up rules-based personalization. This is the entry point of what most marketers are reaching for when they make the decision to build a Sitecore customer experience platform. Personalization has a conservative conversion improvement of 19%. There is more work in content creation, but this is also where the ideas flow and content personalization strategy comes alive. There are some high-level strategic elements that all stakeholders should discuss and put into place. In Sitecore, personalization will be driven by both explicit and implicit behavior. Out of the box, you have the ability to build a unique customer journey through both rules and behavioral-based personalization. Keep in mind that you'll want to properly plan and document the personalization strategy from a high-level strategic standpoint to a detailed tracking of content as it relates to personalization. It is best to start simple. What may have already been a long process to get content created for a single page will grow exponentially as you build an ever-evolving set of unique, rule-driven, content-filled components. Designing rules-based personalization requires some sort of driver to build the rule. For this, you'll want to pull from the high-level strategic elements mentioned earlier. A quick win for personalization is using a goal, combination of goals, or a campaign to define what content is delivered to the user in a component. With proper setup, these components, or sections of your web page, will be individual elements that can be individually personalized. This allows for deeper personalization control of each page. There are three main ways to personalize a component. One, change the content in the component. For example, when using a single image with text component, change out the image or some of the copy. Two, swap the component type and function. Change out one type of component for another. For example, use a form or poll instead of a column of copy or an image and text component instead of a text only component. Three, hide the component from view. As the name suggests, choose to hide an entire component from the user's view. One setup note, when using the experience editor, Click the View tab to turn on the navigation bar. This helps you move quickly through site pages. Also, pay attention to the editor and designer modes. This is best to only have one on at a time, especially as you get comfortable with using the editor. This demo assumes you have already made a determination on what you want to be personalized based off of data and a hypothesis for improvement through personalization. It also assumes you have your content elements and triggers such as goals, campaigns, etc. already created, saved, and deployed. Let's look at a step-by-step -step setup of a component-based personalization. Inside the Experience Editor, click on a component to select and activate the component toolbar and click the Personalization icon. The default view cannot be deleted or moved. By clicking on the plus in the upper right corner, you can stack a different personalization layer on top. Note, you can stack multiple personalization layers, and the Sitecore Rules Engine will analyze the rules from the top down, taking the version that first matches its rule. If no rules match, the bottom default layer will be displayed. Once you've clicked the plus symbol, name the personalization layer for easy reference. From here, you could simply start to change content, but note the slider in the upper left that allows you to turn on the ability to change the component. Move the slider. Click the three dots in the Presentation dialog box. This will open up a Select a Rendering dialog that allows you to choose from the different available components that fit this template. For now, I will close out of this dialog and just simply stick with selecting content. Moving the slider back, I will only have the Content dialog. Click on the three buttons next to the content. This will open up an associated content dialog window. In this window, you will navigate to and select the content you have created to fit this specific personalization rule. With the new content and or component set up, 
Click Edit Rule to view Sitecore's powerful rule editor. Many out-of-the-box rules are available, but this can be customized to fit your business needs. Use the search bar to quickly access a rule like Goal or Campaign, and it will pull up relevant rules. Build the first rule by clicking on the yellow text and then selecting, in this case, a goal. You can create complex rules by adding more than one and using and or phrases. Once complete, review your goal. Click OK and review your personalization stack. Note the percentages on the right hand side. These values will react based on which rules are triggered by different users for quick reference. Now you can view the personalization in line on the page in the Experience Editor by clicking on the drop down menu. If you are happy with what you are seeing, save and Smart Publish. You can apply multiple personalization layers to multiple components on a page, but I think you will see exciting results just by starting simple. Run your personalization for a while, look for results, look for successes and repeat those successes. Over time, your site will provide a better experience for your customers and you will see improved ROI. Join me in my next video where we will continue to drive a better customer experience by setting up behavioral-based personalization. Thank you for your time, and I hope this helps move you forward in your experience marketing journey. Please reach out on Twitter at SiteCordial to share any ideas or questions. As always, I'd love to hear from you.